This is going to be my shave review of Mike's Natural Shaving Soaps. So this is a shaving soap that I've been actually using for many months now, so I'm really excited for this shave because this is really a great shaving product in uh, my opinion, and the lather review of this soap was really excellent. So I just got out of the shower, I've got about two days of growth right here, so my uh, facial hair is nice and hydrated. I've been soaking my shaving brush here, I'm going to be face lathering today. It's my Badger and Blade Essential Boar Hair, it's a 22 millimeter, 22 millimeter uh, Omega Boar Hair Knot. And I'm going to be shaving with my Merker 34C with a fresh feather blade. So I've got this bar right here, and this is coconut scent, which is incredible. Really like that coconut, it's a good one. And then pressed into this jar is their Bay Rum. Also a great Bay Rum. It's kind of a sweeter Bay Rum, like Synergy, as opposed to a more like clovey, heavy Bay Rum, like uh, Mystic Waters, and there's a few others like that. So let me go ahead and load up my brush. Just take the extra water, knock it out. So, as I'm loading, I'll talk a little bit about a soap. A bar, you can get it either as a bar or a tin. Those, uh, the tins are a little bit more expensive, but I just get a bar to save the money. It's, so it's about a four ounce bar and it's eight bucks. So two dollars an ounce, I think that that's right on par with all other premium shaving products. And it's based in tallow. It also has in there uh, avocado oil. Sorry, I'm looking at the list down here. Kokum butter, which is really great for lathering. Uh, in my experience, avocado oil, shea butter, lanolin for a good post shave, uh, clay, and vitamin E. So I think that's it's got a really, really clean, no additive uh, ingredient list, which is really impressive. And this, I was just loading up here, and it's just chock full. That was I wasn't even watching. It's so easy to load. You just go for it, and your brush is going to load up immediately. Nice bay rum scent. Just gonna add some water to my facial hair and face lather. So this soap, it's it, so far for me, it's just been really easy to load on the brush, easy to lather either in a bowl or on my face. I'm talking about my experience over the past few months, and it's a uh, great scent, great shaves, really slick. I really, I have sensitive skin. Uh, and so, you know, giving really good shave protection is really important to me. And this soap definitely protects really, really nicely. And the post shave is amazing. I was using it through last summer. I'd just shave with this and go out. No aftershave balm. I'd just rinse off my face, and my face was hydrated, ready to go. No problem whatsoever. So these are made by an artisan soap maker, these soaps. Mike, I don't know his last name, he's a PhD student or he might be postdoc now. He was in Brooklyn, uh, so some of the older products have like handmade in Brooklyn. But now he's in Ann Arbor, Michigan, so his soaps are now from there. As you can see, this has been really easy. I've been spending a little more time over here. Not a problem face lathering at all. go. Really nice scent, the Bay Rum. It's got a good, uh, I'm smelling it here, it's got a good strength to it. It's not overpowering by any means, but it's there, which I like. I don't want something, some products can be really strong and it's just overpowering, it's just kind of irritating, but this is, the strength is right on with these soaps. So this is my first pass. Fresh feather blade just with the grain top and bottom of my face. So some tallow based soaps, look how much uh, lather I have here and this is not dissipating at all. Sometimes lather soaps can be a little bit finicky in terms of like dissipating or if you add in too much water too much water you can just go from an amazing lather it's just perfect spot on to just completely dissolving away
but with this Mike's shaving soap, that has not been my experience at all. Great first pass, by the way. Really nice, close, no problems with whatsoever. Really slick. So you can see all that's almost gone already. I mean, if I was in a hurry, I could just go out like this. But I'm going to do a second pass, cross grain, clean it up. But with Mike, even though it is tallow based, something in there, he's got the formula figured out, it doesn't dissipate. So I can add in like extra water, like here, like with some tallow soaps, I dry off my face in between passes because I don't want to add more water to the lather in fear of losing the lather uh, that I've made. But here, it's no problem whatsoever. It just takes it in. It's really, it's a really forgiving tallow soap, which I really like. I think it's the cocoa butter in there. Cocoa butter is a really incredible ingredient. All the shaving products that I've used that have cocoa butter, I love. Which includes Mike's, uh, Synergy, and I think pet and Petal Pusher Fancies. All those great shaves, easy to lather, easy to load up, really forgiving soaps. So, if I was making a shaving soap, I'd definitely put coconut butter in there. All right, cross grain. So that's what I'm talking about. Lather's still there, not dissipating out. My face was wet when I re-lathered for a second time. Not a problem whatsoever, it's still here. And this lather is really slick right now. I'm not having any problems whatsoever going over this cross grain. Feels really nice. So this is what I'm talking about down here. This is my second pass. Lather here is just doing a great job. It's still there, plenty of it there. I wasn't too cautious with the amount of water I was adding in when I was relathering for a second time. It's doing, it's doing a great job. And this is a really enjoyable shave because this lather is just so slick. Usually right here on my neck, really sensitive area for me. Problems right here between like trachea, right here muscles inside my neck. And it's just no problem whatsoever. I'm just cruising through those areas because this lather is just so slick. If you have sensitive skin, aside from finding the blade that's right for you, find a good chain product that protects you. Because I've noticed the slicker the lather for me, the better the shave, and my sensitive skin problems just aren't an issue. Awesome. Really great second pass. Really smooth. I'm going to clean up a few areas on my face just to get it a little bit smoother. So for my cleanup pass, I go back to my brush, clear out the lather that's left, plenty of lather there. And then I, so I take it in my left hand, I apply it over my face. This Mike's, it actually like, I like doing this too because it keeps my skin wet. So there's some areas I'm not going to go over uh, again, they're, they're plenty smooth. But it's really like putting on lotion so it keeps my skin uh, nice and moisturized. Alright, so I got a few areas I want to touch up here. I just feel with this hand because I shave with my right and I feel where I want to go. Alright, feels good. I'm not having any problems hitting up the areas I want to go to. Plenty of slickness. It doesn't hurt. If I'm not getting good protection, I think a lot of you guys probably agree, it just hurts when you're going back over an area. And that's, I hate that. And this is not a problem. Alright. So what I do over there is I've got one of these uh, showers with one of these wands in there. If you guys have that, I definitely recommend using it because you can go over there, just rinse off your face. It's so much easier, at least for me, than doing it here in the sink. Still make a mess, but I do a rinse first with hot water and then with cold water. The hot water just helps rinse off all the shaving cream. 
uh, kind of helps dissolve it out with the higher temperature. Then the cooler temperature helps close down my pores and kind of like lock in my skin because it's just gone through some abuse dragging a razor blade over it. Anyway, great shave. I, I just absolutely love this Mike's Natural Soaps. If you guys haven't tried it, you should definitely head over there. He's got his own private website. I don't think he wholesales through any other website. You have to go to him directly. Lots of scents there. I've only tried the Bay Rum and the Coconut, but both of these are just incredible scents, and I've heard from other people that they really enjoy all of his scents. Amazing shave. Look at this, like no redness, no irritation, even down through here. Not only that, but it's really smooth. This gives me definitely one of the closest shaves I have any shaving product. It's definitely right there at the top. There's a few others that are right up there with it for me, but this is right up there. Lots of closeness. My skin feels great. It's definitely hydrated. It's really love this soap. Let me know your guys' experience. Let me know if you like this soap. If you don't, and if you have any comments or questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.